or church, St. Mark Church, was the first uh, water hub or water pot in the city of Flint. And we were basically told to only give people two cases of water. Um, but we did more than that. We gave people water uh, for um, the entire family. We, everything changed for us. We had to learn how to bathe uh, differently. Uh, bottled water was being used to brush our cheek teeth. And so we all been affected by it. And there's still people that's being affected by it because the, it's not fixed. The water is still unsafe. What once was uh, the greatest schools, Flint School Board of Education, uh, was one of the greatest, is now uh, it has declined. Um, we do uh, have some people who have vision and uh, of moving forward. It's just that uh, we maybe need the resources or our government help uh, move them forward. I believe that, you know, job wise, you know, nobody really wants to in my opinion, invest uh, into uh, such a city, uh, whereas the water has not been fixed. It hurt my heart that um, that they changed the water back to Detroit or uh, for GM, uh, but didn't change it for the city um, because it was messing up the the parts at, at GM. But if it can rust a, a block of metal or steel then it surely can kill a body. So it's a lot of people that feel less than and not greater than. And we were once a great, which in my opinion, we are still a great city. We are resilient. People have um, have stayed the course. And then there's some people who have, uh, have felt like, hey, I need to get out of here because the government is not doing, is not taking care of us. We had so many uh, great uh, athletes, as you know, musicians uh, in this city is so much. Uh, I could just say it's, I love the history of our city and I just want us to get back on course and, 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 and become that great city again. Mm -hmm.